Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers using React and Redux. Our viewer asks, how can I prevent an infinite loop when making API calls with Redux Saga in my React application? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. Go. The issue you're facing with the infinite loop in your Redux Saga setup is likely due to how the action is dispatched in your component lifecycle. Let's take a closer look at your detail page component. In your detail page component, you're calling show detail info in component will mount. This lifecycle method is called every time the component mounts, which triggers the action and subsequently the saga, leading to an endless loop. Here's how you can modify your detail page component. Change component will mount to component did mount. This ensures that the API call is made only once when the component is mounted. Additionally, ensure that your Saga is set up correctly to handle the action without causing unnecessary re-renders. You might want to check if the state is updated correctly after the API call. Finally, after making these changes, test your application again. This should resolve the infinite loop issue and allow your API call to function as intended. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This user encountered an infinite loop issue with Redux Saga. They used action constants in a unique way, but realized that their implementation was causing repeated triggers. The problem arose when the payload sent to the put function contained the wrong type, leading to the saga being triggered repeatedly. They suggest double-checking the payload in put to avoid similar issues. Here's a snippet of their code. They defined actions for deleting an item and used take every to listen for the action. The error occurred when the action was dispatched incorrectly. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers.